EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. It's opening round coverage of the United States Open Championship. Hello again and welcome to the U.S. Open. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabila. We're here at Chambers Bay with those massive rolling fairways, the towering dunes, unpredictable coastal winds. What a test, Frank, for the best players in the world. That's right, and it's going to be the first time these professionals are going to play it. We've seen it uh, host a U.S. amateur in the past, and this is a daunting test, especially if the wind gets up. There's enough bank bunkers out there to trap the best players in the world. Those greens fast and firm enough to, re firm enough to repel any shot that's not struck perfectly. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. This is when the game is fun, Frank, when you get one high in the air and you have a down breeze and you just watch it stays in the air forever. Be the hang time on that. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Starting to move on this leaderboard now, Frank. It's got a nice look to it. Another who's who. Checking in on the action now. Let's go down to the sixth. Frank, when you get out of the gates, as our featured golfer has done, with a lot of pars, steady play, what's the mindset? You've got to keep doing that, that Rich. Just maybe get a little closer to the hole, drive a little bit better, work on the, on the, on the pace of the putting. Just little gains, and then all of a sudden you're going to notice a big difference in the scorecard. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. So going well up the hill to that green will need to take an extra club here. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. The player knows they're on the move with that Purdy. Quick glance at the leaderboard. They can see, Frank, they're not out of it. Things are very volatile right now.
Frank, the approach here at the 7th, and there's a lot to consider here. There is. The green at the front is much wider than what it is at the, at the back. It's almost like a tooth or a molar shape. So, you know, that front portion when the flag's there, definitely a birdie hole. Just got to be a little cautious when they put the flag on the back. Inside 20 feet, never bad. 18 feet to be exact. Locked in on the read and the speed. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. So they'll tap in. That takes him to one under on the day. Frank, we know we're at a U.S. Open. 500-yard par fours and here a better than 600-yard par five at the eighth. Yeah, you need a missile really off the tee to be able to reach this par five and two, and not a single bunker really on this uh, on this hole. So this is just uh, long every stretch of the way. The fairway actually looks a little bit narrower than what it is. There's a little bit more fairway than uh, actually what meets the eye at first. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. So miss the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good looking shot right here. That will be a great look at birdie. These putts keep the round together. Frank, all of a sudden, another player to factor in on this leaderboard. And things are starting to tighten up right now. We'll see where the next move comes from. Rich Lerner and Frank Nabilo back with you here at Chambers Bay in the U.S. Open. Now to the ninth hole, closing out this front side. Well, it just goes to show the tremendous variety that the designer, Robert Trent Jones, uh, the second, has done here. We've seen already a tremendous variation, and then this sort of uh, just goes on top of it. Elevated tee, goes down to a green that just slopes a little bit to the right, well bunkered on the right. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. This one just requires a little bit of focus. See, the golfer is just boiling right now after that miss and a drop shot here at the ninth. 
Just a little tap in here. Call in the medics, Frank. Can't stop the bleeding here. Just racking the bogeys up. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo. So long for now.